Hey guys, Sean here at Microsoft's E3 2010 Connect event, and right now I've got Cass and Crooker from Harmonix at my side, who's here to tell us about their new game called Dance Central. Cass and Harmonix, obviously a studio known for the rock band series, the Guitar Hero games. Um, this kind of, you know, I, I think it's fair to say it kind of, kind of came out of left field. Is that, is that fair? That's pretty fair, although the behind the scenes is that we've been wanting to make a dance game for a really long time. And um, there's a bunch of us, I mean, we're all musicians at Harmonix. Those of us like me are in, really into like hip hop and pop and electronic dance music. So we've been sort of secretly waiting to be able to make a different style of game. Dance games have been at the top of that list for a long time. So we were going to wait around until the technology was right to do a real authentic dance game. So let's talk about uh, the technology that drives Dance Central. What kinds of things are you able to do with Connect that you couldn't do with the motion technology that's out there right now? Sure, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing was to be able to track hip motion, track shoulder motion, and be able to let the player turn around and spin around and do that sort of wide range of moves that you would see uh, from choreography from music videos. So it was really that the, you know, the technology allowed that degree of precision and accuracy that we just were not finding. And we felt like if we, you know, to, without that, you just would lose the experience really quickly. How has the idea changed since, uh, you know, the original concept that you had versus what we've seen here with, uh, you know, the build that we've got today? I think the biggest thing was, you, you know, it's where do you start non-dancers, right? Like, you got to get people who don't even know how to, like, feel the beat or feel a little uncomfortable being in front of people. So we wanted to be able to craft some easy level songs to get people sort of up and just generally moving. But then we wanted to make sure that we had a range of choreography that allowed difficulty to, to scale way up. We felt a lot of other games just sort of stopped short from that. We go all the way up so that when you get up to medium or hard, you're dancing basically the same kind of stuff you would see in, you know, like a Justin Timberlake video. Let's talk about the type of music you have in the game. I heard some Lady Gaga in there earlier, but it sounds like there's a, it's a pretty diverse array of music going on. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we wanted to make sure in, in all of our music games that we have that range. So the key for us was pop, R&B, hip hop. That's where all the good dance moves are. And then we wanted to be able to go a little bit deeper into some like dance hall, reggaeton. We even have a Jerkin song, which I don't know if you know what Jerkin is, but it's a, it's, it's the craze. Um, and you know, and then have some older like uh, funk and disco songs, just so we have that range. Um, and uh, I think that'll allow a lot of different people to be like, oh, that's my that's my song, Bell Bidvillo, that's my song, M.I.A., uh, Beastie Boys. We wanted to make sure we had something for everybody. Well, Cassin, I haven't been able to try it quite yet, and I'm looking forward to doing that. But before I'm actually able to do that, I've got to ask you, when is Dance Central going to be out in store? It's out for holiday. We haven't announced the exact release date, but this Christmas it'll be out. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. All right, that does it for Dance Central. Stay tuned for even more Connect and E3 coverage coming up over the next few days.